Joe Hubs here with Hankster's Hot Rods, and today we're still in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location, and we've got new inventory here to show you today. This is a 1966 Ford Mustang. This is a GT Fastback. Um, we do have documentation that does show this car was ordered with the GT package, and then with the addition of the door tag and the buck tag, it definitely calls out that we do have our Fastback GT standard interior as we will go through here in just a little bit so again we've got the correct color here too according to our car it was a 63a i'm not exactly sure what the code is for the candy apple i believe it's t is what calls out candy apple in the vin and on the door tag so it is the correct candy apple red exterior paint um, now this paint uh, it is a bit of an older paint job but the paint is still nice and smooth and shiny on this car. Um, it's actually been buffed out. It looks really, really good here as it sits. But again, original candy apple red color. Um, now this car it does have the 289 emblems on the front fender, as well as your GT emblems down here also, just on the back side of the front fender. For wheels and tires, it's got the factory, I guess these would be your rally wheels on, this, on the Mustang. It does have the beauty rings and your center caps, and those are all in excellent condition on this car. It's got a set of Toyo um, Touring radial tires on it, and all four tires are all the same size. They're 195, 70, R14s on this car. Um, now you can see our Mustang has the white lower body stripes on it. These are vinyl, uh, but they're in really good condition. There's you know, nothing missing out of any of them. They're all complete stripes on both sides of the car. Uh, now you'll see our Mustang does not have wheel lip moldings on it. They have elected to leave those off. Uh, it does have the bright drip rail moldings, which all of the trim on this whole car around all the windshield, the rear glass, as well as your drip rail moldings on both sides, all in excellent condition. Nice and straight. There's no dents or dings or any kind of imperfections whatsoever on those. Those look really nice on this car. You've got both mirrors, driver's side and passenger side. And those are the chrome mirrors. Uh, and then your door handles are also chrome and those are in good shape. Now you can see as we come down the side here, you can look at the gaps on the front side of the door as well as back here on the back side. Gaps are very, very uniform and very close. So door fitment, really nice. Uh, elevations on these two are excellent. You couldn't really ask for them to be any better than they are on this particular car. Let's go ahead and open up our door real quick. Just kind of real briefly go over what we're seeing here. Of course we've got our all black. This is just the standard vinyl interior here with the bucket seats, automatic center console. That's factory, all factory dash and gauges. As far as your door, you can see that that candy apple red paint follows all the way into the door as well as the door jam areas here. Um, it does have all your weather stripping. It's in good condition too. There's no chips or cracks or tears in any of that. So I mean it'll seal up very nice even along the top side here where your side window glass goes up against. Those look to be new on this car so those are in excellent shape. Now this car does retain the door tag on it that has all your codes. Codes like uh, what would stand for the uh, Fastback model, your color code which was T, um, it's going to tell you the interior code, the transmission code, and the rear axle code. So all of that present here on the door tag. Now when we get to under the hood, that's going to have what's called your buck tag up there. It's going to have a lot of the same codes, but there are a few, few differences there with things that you can decode on the car. As we work our way a little further back on this car, again, this is a Fastback model. So you see the Fastback roof on it. It does have the louvers back here, as you see with all of your GT Fastback models. And then the rear quarter panel. As I stand back here and look down the side, the side's very straight, no waves whatsoever there. Again, metal is all in good condition on this car. All right, now we're around the back side of our Mustang here. So uh, again, this car has a big back window in it. Uh, the glass on this is in really good shape here. It is tinted glass in this car. And you can see that there's no chips or cracks or anything in this rear glass. And again, I've already mentioned about the trim and the molding around all of the windows and so forth. 
being in very good condition on this car and you can see it is back here as well polished up real nice no dents or things in really good condition now the trunk lid on our mustang back here fitment on it is really good too uh, if you look the whole way around the trunk lid itself all the gaps are very uniform the whole way around elevations are really good too on both sides uh, again, it matches up really well with those quarter panels. Uh, back across the rear of the car now, down at the tail panel here, all of your tail lights, uh, the lenses in those are in excellent condition. There's no cracks or chips in any of those on either side. The bright work uh, on the bezels for your tail lights, those are in excellent shape. No pitting or anything to speak of there. You've got the Ford Mustang GT gas cap back here. And of course, you've got the chrome rear bumper. Then your lower valance here. Now you can see on the rear lower valance here, you've got your backup lights back here, both sides. Lenses are in good condition on those two. And the bright work around those are in great condition. The lower valance itself, that's in good condition. And you can see that you've got your exhaust tips sticking out through that rear lower valance. And you've got the bright work, the trim work around those exhaust tips too where they exit through that balance. Everything looks really, really good back here. So let's go ahead and open our trunk lid up and we'll take a look inside. So again, smooth, shiny, candy apple red paint on the underside of the trunk lid here. Your trunk seals themselves, again, those look to be fairly new, if not new. Again, soft and there's no tears or cracks in that. So again, trunk lid should seal up just fine. Inside of our trunk, we've got a full-size spare. We've got a trunk mat with a matching spare tire cover in it. Got a scissors jack back here for it too. And then you also have a set of floor mats in here. And we always elect to leave those out of the interior, put them back here. That way you can see the condition of the carpeting on the car whenever we look at the interior. But other than that, everything looks good back here for the trunk. You've got your decal up here for your spare tire and everything. So again, everything looks great back here. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. Okay, now that we're around the passenger side of the car, we're going to just take a quick look here. Everything's going to be the same as what we went over on the other side of the car. So first thing is, as I'm standing back here at the rear quarter panel and looking the whole way up the side of the car, I'm checking for straightness of the panels. And again, this car is very straight. I don't see any waves or any variations in elevation as I look down the side of the car. Uh, again, quarter panels are in good shape, all the metal's in great shape. I've already gone over wheels and tires, the 14-inch wheels with those Toyo tires. Um, again, all matching tires, matching tread. So again, everything looks good there. The louvers back here on your fastback roof, we've already touched on those. Again, paint nice and smooth and shiny here on this side. The whole car is nice and smooth and shiny. As far as our moldings, Again, we can see our drip rail molding on this side, and that's in really good shape too. Again, nice and straight, polished real nice, and again, no dents or dings in that. Our chrome on our handles, our chrome on our mirror, and even the chrome and bright work around our wing windows, that's all in good shape too. There's no pitting whatsoever on those. Same thing on this side, we look at our door gaps here, both on the back side as well as up front here on our door, and you can see that those gaps are very uniform, very similar front to back, and then our elevations too are very good. So again, the adjustment of the panel, the door panel here, with the front fender, with the rear quarter panel, has been done really, really nicely on this car. We'll open this door up too real quick, just take a look inside. Again, the paint continues on the inside of the door, as well as your door jam areas. Your sill plates are in great shape. That's that black standard interior. Again, the rubber bump stops on both the top as well as the bottom. And then your weather stripping and your seals here on your door, those are in all excellent shape. Uh, even, again, as I mentioned, your seal up around the top side here for your side glass, those look to be almost new if not new. So again, they are in great shape. As we walk forward now again, again, we have our GT emblems down there at the lower side of the front uh, fender there and then we've got that white lower body stripe the 289 fender emblem up on the front and then that brings us to the front of the car and here now we are finally at the front end of our mustang 
66 okay so again you see the front facade here on the car uh, see our headlights those are your traditional seal beam headlights so glass lenses and those are in great shape on both sides no chips or cracks in any of those lenses this car also has the fog lights up here in the front grille and again those are in great shape there's no chips or cracks in the lenses and your be bezels the bright work around them those are in great shape too the actual grill area really good condition too bright work is outstanding on this car again you see that big mustang logo right here in the center of the grill the chrome front bumper again looks to be in really good condition uh, and i'd say that these bumpers probably i'd say they're probably the original bumpers for this car um, they show a little bit of wear but again the finish is really good and the fitment is excellent on this particular car uh, and you see the headlight bezels too here around all painted up that same candy apple red color matches everything up to the car and then of course your lower valance down below that's in great shape your turn signals or your marker lights those are down here also lenses and those are in great shape no chips or cracks and the bright work the bezels around those those are in good condition too on the car so what we'll do now I'll take a look at the hood here as far as our gaps go on the hood very uniform side to side you've got the same gap on that side is what you do over here on the passenger side of the hood as far as elevations go matches up really good with the fenders there so again that's all in great shape this is just your stock hood all steel you've got the Ford emblems here on the front and you've got the bright work right along the edge of that hood that trim work and again in good shape it's not bent up not dinged up and it's polished up really really nice so at this time we'll go ahead and pop the hood on it and then we'll take a look at what's inside so first thing we notice is the underside of the hood painted the same color that candy apple red uh, sitting inside this for an engine this is the correct 289 cubic inch small block Ford engine um, looks to have a few little things done um, you know mostly bolt-on items to maybe help it run a little bit better um, we've got a chrome air cleaner here with the 289 decal on it we've got chrome valve covers one valve cover has a breather the other has a PCV valve in it hooked up through so it sucks through the carburetor there speaking of carburetor we've got an Edelbrock 1406 series carburetor that would be a 600 CFM carburetor with the electric choke on it as well um, intake we have an aluminum Edelbrock this is the Performer 289 intake so again it's going to help fuel delivery uh, as far as the ignition goes they pretty much kept stock on that you've got a stock style distributor and coil you do have upgraded plug wires though they're seven millimeter plug wires so it'll get the spark down to your plugs there a little bit better um, you just have standard just your stock cast exhaust manifolds uh, and as you'll see on our underside video those exit out dual, true dual exhaust uh, all the way back through to the tailpipes exiting out the rear of the car now this does have aftermarket air I uh, forget the exact name of it uh, but it's something like classic auto um, air conditioning uh, but aftermarket air conditioning uh, it's all hooked up all your heater lines are all hooked up on this car too stock style radiator does have um, a you know small shroud on it along with a six blade flex fan on it uh, to help cool everything down here and uh, that's basically about it underneath the hood here all right here we are now on the inside of our 66 mustang fastback here again this is all black standard interior all vinyl uh, the door panels you can look at those uh, starting out there those are in excellent shape uh, all of the upholstery there's no tears uh, or anything like that on any of the door panels um, all of your bright work your trim work on the door that's all intact and all in really good shape and you've got the bright door handle and window crank uh, those all look great on this particular car uh, as far as the dash goes this is all your factory dash all stock stuff you've got your factory uh, instrumentation and on this car you do have a fuel gauge you got the oil pressure gauge you have your speedometer right in the middle an amps gauge and your water temperature gauge all in this car so a five gauge cluster from the factory 
No additional gauges whatsoever on this car. You've got the factory steering wheel and that's in great condition. You can see the, uh, the wheel, there's no cracks or anything in it. The bright work is all polished up, very nice. Got that Ford horn button right in the center. Looks really good. Uh, just inside now of that, we've got factory heat and AC controls. So even though it's got aftermarket air unit on it, you still retain the factory controls in here so it all looks like it was meant to be here. Got an AM FM cassette player in here also. Then of course you still have the Mustang logos throughout the car. Uh, it does have a factory automatic center console on it here. Now this armrest that we see right here that my hands are on, this does just lift right off and I believe that uh, we have some pictures showing that showing that the center console is all in really good shape. But this is a nice little feature. It gives you some place that you can rest your arm on. Got some cup holders here too for your longer drives so you can set your coffee or whatever beverage it is that you want right on in there. Um, the headliner itself is in really good shape. Nice and tight. No holes, no tears. All the bows are in it as they should be. So again, excellent shape there. Your sun visors. Whoops. <laughs> Sun visors looks like somebody left a garage door opener in here. But anyways, the sun visors are in excellent shape here. You put those down, they stay down. You put them back up, and they stay up also. Again, nice and tight. So looks like somebody probably put some new ones of these in too because they usually don't fit this well and don't look this well. Uh, again, they're not faded either. Um, no dry cracks or anything like that. They're in excellent shape. Um, dome light uh, everything like that those are all functioning here in the car so again everything looks really good seat covers are in excellent shape both on the front as well as the back and everything is matching the carpeting same thing in excellent condition i don't see any fading uh, no rips or tears in the carpeting that i can see up here again we showed that the floor mats are in the trunk for the car so if you want to put those in to help protect it you can uh, again with this being aftermarket air too you have the additional vents along the bottom side of the dash uh, with your vent uh, with your tubing and everything run under the dash so again that's all been nicely done on this car and it'll make it really comfortable to drive into on those hot summer days if you're out cruising around or at a car show it's going to be real comfortable to drive this car um, so that's basically it for the interior of our car um, in the meantime as we always tell you um, throughout all of our videos and photos um, you can contact us um, you can visit us through our website at www.hangsters.com our phone number and email address are always made available to you throughout all the videos uh, and you can also now text us through our website too all right we got our 1966 ford mustang gt fastback here up on the lift so what we're going to do is go through the underside here uh, kind of point out to you exactly what we do have here what we're looking at uh, and then uh, it'll be off to doing uh, the engine run and uh, you know do the uh, rest of the video so what we have here um, up front is all stock standard front suspension on this car um, all the right you know stamped steel components as far as your lower control arms and your upper a arms there on the car um, we do have a front sway bar here and this is a factory sway bar on it uh, all the end links on it the bushings everything like that all look to be in very good condition they're not split out or cracked um, as a matter of fact, I think some of these have even been replaced and are all new on this car. Um, the front strut rod suspension here on the front as well. All the bushings that tie it into the frame, those are all in excellent shape too. There's no splits or cracks in any of that stuff. Looks really, really good. Uh, as far as steering goes, um, all your steering components, the uh, tie rods up front here, um, all of your uh, ball joints on those tie rods, on your lower control arms and upper A-arms. They look to be in real good condition too. Maintained, you can tell that they've been greased uh, and maintained very well. All the rubber dust boot covers uh, look to be all intact on this. So again, that's gonna keep any dirt and debris out of it from causing premature wear and keep them you know, as in good a condition as possible after you grease them up and keeps that grease in there too. Front frame rail sections on this car are in excellent shape too nice and square and straight all the way back as far as what they go 
Um, so again, that all looks good here. Now inside our frame rails here, as far as an engine goes, we do have a 289. This is a small block Ford engine. Uh, that is coupled to the C4 automatic transmission. Now that transmission on the front side does have the cover for the flywheel, so that's going to keep any dirt and debris out of the, from uh, causing any potential harm to your flywheel. Um, again, you can see that that's all been painted up to and detailed nicely underneath the car. The transmission cross member here, that looks to be in good shape too, nice and straight. Um, the actual mount for it up here, that's in good shape too, looks like it was fairly new as well. You can see it's got dual exhaust, um, those are coming all the way from the stock cast exhaust manifolds back to it looks to be two inch uh, pipe back here. You can see it's got the crossover tube also to help equalize pressure. All the way back you have actual duals back here, so you, your dual mufflers, along with your tailpipes and those exit out through the rear lower valance on the car. We'll see that as we walk back there a little further. Um, one other thing we like to look at here are the floors and your rockers, your pinch welds and so forth. The floors look to be in excellent shape on this car. I see no patching, there's no holes either to speak of. This thing looks really good as far as the floors go on here. As far as your rockers and your pinch welds, we can look at those pinch welds the whole way down the side of the car here. Both sides, they are just as straight as can be and they look very good. The rockers, same thing. You can look at those and the rockers are in excellent condition too on this car. Drive shaft, they just have that painted up black under here to kind of help blend in with everything. As far as the rear end goes, uh, this is a Ford 8 inch rear. Um, the gear in this thing, it's a 3.0 uh, gear ratio and this is just your standard diff. Uh, so it's not a pause unit. Uh, again, they call it their standard diff. Multi-leaf rear suspension. Looks like they have fairly new shocks on the rear end of this car too. Uh, your rear frame sections, the dog-like sections here that go up over top of the rear end, those look to be in excellent shape too on both sides. Nice and straight, very square. You're, they're not dinged in or dented. And again, they're all solid. There's no patching whatsoever on these. They look really, really good as far as that goes. Um, as far as wheels and tires on this car, we've got 14 inch wheels the whole way around on it. Uh, the tires are all matching to their Toyo tires uh, and they are 195-70R14s. As far as braking goes on the car, we've got disc brakes up front and then of course we have drum brakes in the rear. Now those are, that's manual braking. Uh, the steering on the car is also manual as well. Uh, and as far as the back section of the car goes now, uh, we have a fuel tank here. It's your stock fuel tank. Looks to be fairly new. Um, looks in great condition too. There's no dents or dings whatsoever to talk of on this. Um, looks like maybe the sending unit and so forth has been all new in here too. That looks very clean up there as well. As I mentioned, you've got the tailpipes here with the extensions that poke out through that rear lower valance.